Are you lucky? Unlucky? Haven't actually ever thought about it? One of my coaching sessions is entitled Lucking. It makes an active verb out of the noun luck. It's an exercise in exploring one's fortune model. Well, where do you normally fit along the luck continuum from depressingly unfortunate to winning lotteries? Some folks just seem like natural born pessimists. Well, not natural born, actually. They, they learn it along the way somewhere. Parents, coaches, teachers, experiences. And some can drive us nuts with their eternal optimism. You know, the bubbly cheerleader type. However we came by our fortune model, it forms how we react to events as they occur. Damn it, I knew that was going to happen. Or, hold my beer, I got this. The foundation of my work is that individual perception is reality for the perceiver. So if my knower judge or perception is that I'm not lucky, then it's damn difficult, if not impossible, for me to find a way through an unfortunate adventure. If, on the other hand, my perception is that I'm on the lucky end of that spectrum, I can almost always find a way through the challenge. I'm struck by the quote from Gar Stein's recent book, uh, in the recently released movie, The Art of Racing in the Rain. He says, quote, your car goes where your eyes go, simply another way of saying that you make your own destiny, unquote. Do you see clouds from horizon to horizon, or are you always looking for rays of sunlight shining through? With a pile of manure in front of you, are you just reeling from the smell, or are you ready to dive in exclaiming, there must be a pony in there somewhere? When things seem the bleakest, my mantra has always been to make room for the miracle. It just opens my gloomy narrative to the possibility that this will all work out. And more times than not, it does. If there's no room in that perception for relief, then it's been my experience, no relief is forthcoming. Making room for the miracle carves out that niche, spreads the clouds a little, allowing in some sun's rays. But I also maintain a lot of us don't even see the common miracles. Those examples of positive fortune that happen to us every day the parking spot, the fortuitous phone call, the negative diagnosis, the unsolicited peck on the cheek. If we can't see them, then it's going to be difficult to believe there could be a pony in that pile of shit. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.